all of these shots you see before your very eyeballs were all filmed using just one light and some incense sticks that smell like the very essence of a mystical temple of joy. joy, joy. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be looking at a few scenes I filmed around the house by myself using minimal gear. By myself, yeah, it sounds familiar because for a lot of us, that's the case 90% of the time because all our friends, I'm going to say they betrayed us and insisted on getting proper jobs. So, you know, they can't help you on a Tuesday morning film a YouTube episode. It's selfish to be honest and, um, but I'm, yeah, I'm not bitter at all. Anyway, with that in mind, you're going to want to simplify things as much as possible because when you're by yourself, the last thing you want to do is lug around a load of gear that takes ages to set up and takes up loads of time, which you don't have anyway. But simplifying things doesn't mean we can't get, and I'm going to say it, that magic word, cinematic results. So yeah, this first setup I'm calling man man decides to watch tv nice and simple probably won't win any oscars and let's be honest if you saw that pop up on your suggested in netflix you're, you're not going to waste your time click on it you might do if this is the thumbnail because that looks pretty decent now when i was lighting this scene the first thing i thought was where could I motivate the light from already? Now, as you can see, there's this beautiful cat lamp, which I absolutely adore, this lamp. And no matter what anyone else says, I will not be getting rid of it. Because I like cats, but I really like them in lamp form. Not some weird taxidermy thing, just like as a ceramic cat lamp, all right? Anyway, I love this lamp. So I was like, this lamp needs to be in shot. So if it's in shot, I can then motivate and enhance the light from it to try and wrap around my face and obviously have the camera on the shadow side to make our face feel a bit more three-dimensional. So I've stuck the light in the right hand corner and I've used black grid which just helps to concentrate the light and stops it from spilling out to the sides because I don't want light going all over the shop. I want to control that light and so should you. So this grid helps that. It helps it to just put a finer point onto where the light is going. I've also used the door, the living room door, to cut some of the light because I was getting some hot spots on the door frame. Plus, I was getting some hot spots on the coffee table at the front. But I didn't have any flags with me, which is what you would use to remove light. So I just had to grab this dirty old tea towel and clamp it onto the bottom of the light. But you know what? It did the job. So, you know, well done, tea towel. You can always work with me on set. I don't know what your day rate is, but you're well worth it. Now I've gone for a warmer light because I feel like this scene is, you know, he's come home from work, it's an evening, he's settling in and he's gonna watch something on TV, which is the whole point of this scene. So I wanted to match the color temperature to the light that was coming from the lamp, making out as if the cat lamp is somehow lighting the side of my face and wrapping around it. So I'm not just a silhouette. So here we have another scene where I'm using the same principles as the living room and I'm using the bedroom lamp to motivate where the light is coming from and I've got the camera on the shadow side. Now just to show you why it's important to use this technique of motivating where a light source is coming from, if I now stick the light on the opposite side of where the bedroom lamp is, you can see that the image, it just doesn't look right, it looks flat and to be honest, it's pretty it's gross it's disgusting i can't even look at myself and yep there we go i've died from disgust because yeah this next one i'm calling man lays down to enjoy the sun but guess what there was no sun, because I live in the UK, and he rarely shows up. So sometimes you've got to recreate the sun because he's part-time and he doesn't really want to do the job. So for this setup, I've stuck the light 
outside of the window and yeah try to recreate the sun so i got rid of the grid got rid of uh, the diffusion cloth to make it as hard as possible because i was going for a sort of morning sunrise feel and again turned up that color temperature to warm it up and shooting through the curtains i was able to use that as we did in the living room scene with the door to cut light where i wanted so i was able to create a corridor of light that would hit my face while also blocking out parts of the room that i didn't want lit because again as i said before we want to control that light we're in control and that's the end of it nice easy setup probably took me about you know what it took me longer to set the camera up than the light because i was trying to get it in the foliage in a house plant that i've got and yeah that took a bit of time but apart from that setting up the light nice and quick so of course when you're filming around your own house there'll be spaces that are fairly awkward to put a light anywhere but you may really want to film this, so how can you light a really awkward space like a stairwell? Well for this scene, what I've done is I've stuck the light at the top of the landing and I've pointed it up towards the ceiling to bounce off the white ceiling down back onto the stairwell. So yeah, bounce is a great technique to reflect light into a hard to reach space. And it's the same thing I've done here with this setup, where I'm at the top of the stairs and I've stuck the light at the bottom of the stairs and I'm bouncing it off the reflector to try and angle the light back up onto my face as I lean in to look all sad and angry because this one I'm calling Man Hates Christmas. Which is actually false because I quite like Christmas to be fair. But there we have it. A load of cinematic setups that we achieved just around the house. You know, proving that you don't need to go to Mount Doom and do a Lord of the Rings style shoot. You don't need to go to that place. It'll be well stressful. Plus the weather's like really shit. Just stay at home. Bring one light, a camera obviously, and just film yourself. Trust me, it'll be easier. It is easier. We just proved it.